All right, everybody. Um, what's going on, you guys? This is your boy Scotty by Nature TV. We have Jamar84. We have giving you the real tea. We have Jeremy Speaks. We have Carl Intramill, and we also have special guest Bando. And we are here for the Chasing panel for Chasing Dallas season five, episode three. What's going on, y'all? Scotty Gang. What's going on, y'all? Wait up. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, I done missed the last week. What's going on? Well, first of all, how was your trip since you fooled bitches like you cut your dreads off, but then you turned around and took a picture like you on Baywatch? Oh, oh no, yeah, it is. I do that shit every year, and y'all fall. The people fall for it every time. I'm like, I'm about to say, I know you would say y'all fall for it. Like, <laughs> you, okay. you know how many people FaceTime me and was like, let me see your head. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I swear. Some of y'all. You better not cut your hair, bitch. You know what's under this scar? Nothing. Skin. <laughs> so don't cut your <laughs> hair. <laughs> <Those Okay. laughs> Bitches like me appreciate it. Scotty and T. Litcho. <laughs> Very. As usual. Ain't you sipping too, bitch? Ain't who? Hey, also, hey, Nikki, you <laughs> cut the hell up in the damn comments, girl. <laughs> Shit. Girl. And I ain't. I'm going to bed. Let me look at the comments. Okay, I'm not going to bed. <laughs> Clearly, you're not. <laughs> not not, not Bando with the up. double features. I'm screaming. <laughs> yes, yeah, awful. I'm back. <laughs> okay. Hey, now, I'm not them saying cut it and get a you know, mullet. Do not doctor. get a mullet, child. <laughs> Bando always in the dark, Scotty. You better get on that, child. <laughs> This is about chasing Dallas, not Scotty and Bando. This is our warm up. We do our banter and shit. Like, Hell yeah, we going at, we going at, we going at tonight. Oh, you guys going to the bull dagger? Yeah, bitch. Hey, yeah, we going out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Brando, you coming? You coming? Hell yeah. Yeah, you know it's gang gang out here, bitch. <laughs> Y'all have a wonderful time with that. <laughs> You have a wonderful time with the bull dagger. Uh, you ain't going. Jamar, stop because you're a homeowner. Stop acting like a raggedy ass bitch. You come out with a... <laughs> yeah. First of all, the last time I tried to go to that shit, y'all asses almost left me. So I don't want to hear from you. Not left. Girl, you... She ain't got her nails done. You think you're cute, bitch? Yep, you. Raggy whore. Sky, I did not know you had a membership. <laughs> What'd you say? I didn't know you had a membership. Well, like, what, like, what are you posting there? I post my. It's going to be our naked ass in a minute. <laughs> I post um, <laughs> like I, I do readings of the books that I wrote, and then mm -hmm. uh, I, after dark, gonna be in there, and then not just doing poetry readings. <laughs> <laughs> it's not poetry, bitch. It's you didn't poetry. read poetry, and that means y'all pay two ninety nine to watch Scotty Listen read his poetry. They love it, bitch. So it don't matter. Probably all the titties out like they go to my they they go to my memberships, and they heard worse. They heard my first time with a female. Imagine that. In your so, story time? And like in your membership? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Like, with the, uh, with Can the you get a little like piece a, of cooch? Uh, yeah, I, I had a little cooch in there. I need back, to get a membership. I need to get a story. It was a horrible experience. Don't let me relive it. Coochie is Not good. Not a little coochie. Nah, little coochie good for you. I was fine coming out of one. I don't need to go back here. They don't need no lube or nothing. That's how you need to come out of one. The only coochie around here that matters is mine. All right, it's the only one that matters. Okay. This uh, after dark will be a mess. Okay. It can because I talked about a lot of my shit, child. You heard some of. Mm, I don't know. But that's not for me to talk about. My first time <laughs> topping and everything was up in there, child. And that one was a gag. Like mm. not your first time. Yeah, I'm about bottom. I always build one, but I was. Horny. What's up, Jeremy? And I said, "Fuck it." Nah, I was horny. <laughs> Give me some. Are bad. you talking to me? I don't think you wanted none. Yeah, he said, yeah, "What's up, Crystal Martin?" I said, "What's up, Jeremy? How are you, Ben? I heard you. I, I'm good. I was. I heard you was looking for me. I was Bitch, not looking for I you. I wasn't looking for you, but I'm glad that you're here. You know, nah, you he's saying that because when I went live back. the other day, you asked, was, you asked, was he coming back? And I said, well, if he's available, he can. Hey, okay, Ravine. Well, he's Ravine, 
when that was high school, baby, I met Mimi in college. No, me and Mimi have Mimi. never had she sex. Like I ain't had nothing with that. Or Mimi is something else, honey. Child, she <laughs> make you think I laid up with her? Uh uh, that's best. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Jeremy was frozen. I guess he went out of he got to go out. Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's get shit. The stars getting late. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm trying, I'm trying to give, I'm trying to give okay. There go Jeremy. He's is we gonna address the comment on last week's video or no? That's what you wanna do. I know that's what you want to do. Is we addressing last yeah, week's I comment on the part, video? I was or gonna no? ask it. What's well, the, the comment? comment the comment didn't have anything to do. I don't think Goodbye. it had anything to do with most. Well, of I feel it tried to come with our good sister, so we need to address it. Period. Carl, okay. When shall, so, when shall we talk about this? Should we talk about it as we're getting into it, or should we talk about it now? I think you start the episode. Hmm. Start the episode. Okay. Start <laughs> the episode. Last second. Start the episode. Okay. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay. So. The episode pretty much pick up where it left off last week when JC and Sean got into it. Okay, it continued. JC continued to go off. Sean felt like JC had preconceived notions about him. Sean then said that Tilly don't show up for anyone as a friend. Jet asked Kesey about his relationship with Seven. Then Jet turned around and asked Seven about it, and he shut it down. George showed up and Astro checked on JC, who kept on. Dismissing Tilly every time Tilly had something to say. Whoever wants to start, go. Um, I'll start first. Uh, JC was ringing down a little bit, wasn't he? <laughs> your boy, well, he was, was your boy ringing down a little bit? <laughs> well, he was trying. You know, a uh, good good first effort. Maybe he has to get acclimated to this, but you know, uh, but honestly, you can tell that JC is not somebody probably who's used to getting into conflict like this more so or i don't know if he's from that school of you know hit first ask questions later i don't know maybe he's gonna like read as we get into it because i did feel like towards like the middle to end of the episode he started like reading better but um i still feel like it's kind of like weird to say you don't know somebody but then say you don't like them for whatever reason that that is, you know, uh, I, it, it, it's, still, it's, it's still not, it's still not, uh, it's still not registering to me. However, I went into the comments of the last, of the last video of the last <laughs> episode that we did. And I saw, I had a little surprise for me. It was from Sean. Sean had said, hold on, let me pull it up. <clears throat> he said, now, usually I don't do this. I mean, sorry. Now, usually I don't do these comments, but I got time today. Don't even watch the live, unlike most. That's, that's going to watch me every Thursday. My young black tail. Oh, I'm sorry. He also said gay. You know, going to talk about every accomplishment I achieved because I came from nothing. Come to Dallas and I'll shit on you too, boo, Miss Jeremy. Like I said, get in line. He ate your ass. He ate so your ass up. It's so many of y'all that wish to get up with an avid reader like myself and <laughs> will never get the chance. So you use the taglines review to roast. <clears throat> I could never be a bully. I love all my castmates and think they all are talented. You can't think to X a person like me out of the equation. Ask men how I smell before your government cheese smelling self say I smell like anything but the finest mixed with wet booty cat. <laughs> now check <take> that. <laughs> he ate your ass up. I'm screaming. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, I don't want to say nothing. That's why I put the fan out. Now, like this is like this is my thing. Like I just want to put it out there again. I was asked to review this show. 
I Please would don't try to throw me under the bus. I'm not trying to throw you under the bus. I'm just saying, like, I don't I don't want this delusional bitch to get the idea that I'm just going to go find him every Thursday because you know I want to. If anything, seeing him on the screen gives me, you know, you know, gets me a little gassy or whatever the case may be. But listen, at the end of the day. I hate when bitches like you throw around like that. You know, I'm black, gang success, successful, and I give out all my accomplishments and things like that. Because at the end of the day, all you doing is dragging the other motherfuckers who are way more successful and has way more money than you. I, at the end of the day, I still don't understand why we're two episodes, three episodes in at this point. And the only thing I've really seen from you is that you can't keep Ted Lee's name out your mouth and that you're playing with everybody else who significantly makes more money than you. Now, I'm not the one who said that you work at the gas station. That wasn't me. But it's funny how you said that you was going to slap the shit out of all of us, but you was keeping on the panel of the person. Who is all of us? Who the fuck is all of us? I ain't never said none of that shit. Whatever. That the one who the one who broke the news that you work at the gas station. Like it's funny that JC was sitting here on the commercials, basically showing all of these commercials of sense. Is like the like the lounge room, every fucking thing else. And the only thing you got is fucking recycled ass toenail polish bottles full of like full of cognac juice that you're trying to sell to us as perfume at the end of the day that nigga talking about he was trying to sell vanilla oud i don't even know if he knows how to pronounce that shit but at the end of the day you talking about you gonna if you can't beat me up you gonna slap my mama but at the end of the day my mama married to a white man and I don't know oh, if you know damn. white. I don't know if you know anything about white men. They love conspiracy theories. So my, so my, and he, and he might be a little racist. I don't know. You know, <laughs> it could be that. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying this. They love to go hunting for yetis and shit like that. They live in Las Vegas. So if you run up on her, he ain't gonna have no problem shooting a nigga or a yeti. And I feel like you can be assumed as both. Like at the end of the day, I am not worried. I'm not bothered by your accolades. To be honest, I don't even really feel like you've been talking about your accolades like that anyway. And I'll be damned if I get a master's degree and work at a gas station in my free time. That's just me. Now I'm not knocking that, but that's just me. Now I didn't want it to get personal, but since that's what is coming out to be. I see that that's where we're going to go. And I also see Ted Lee in the comments of said video, you know, which confuses the shit out of me because you're talking about you love these people. Nigga, they're making you look like a clown. Like, that's the reason that they really be fucking with you like that because they can play in your face. Like, I like the fact that you think that y'all have like a happy community of love and these niggas are talking about your business, calling you a fraud, saying you ain't got this, saying you ain't got that. And then the next scene, after all of those accusations, you talking about you going on a motherfucking business trip, bitch, that looks crazy. Nobody took you seriously. When we saw you going to Las Vegas, we cackled. Because how much of an idiot that they made you look like. Now, that's not my friend. Those are your friends. And I feel like at this point, Ted Lee might be experiencing Stockholm Syndrome. Blink twice. If you are, you know, in danger. If you need somebody help. If you need police department. Because I know Smokey the Bear is always coming after you in every scene that we've seen you in. And at the end of the day... Uh, this is light. I don't really give a fuck about Shine. I don't care about none of you bitches. At the end of the day, this is just business for me. And I was really going to try to let it slide, you know, because of the read, because I feel like reading me and stuff like that, that's whatever. I could care less. But you talk about my mama. You talk about my mama. That like that's where you know that's where we start having problems because you not really about that life. I know I know a big bitch that fights in slow motion when I see one, and I know that that's you, and you don't want it with me. And I'm not trying to fight you because I don't fight, I shoot. And I'm that part. Ass cat dancing like Yosemite Sam. Oh my god, bitch, don't said, dance, sucker. Bitch, don't threaten me. 
bitch, you better sit down and watch these reviews and take the lessons that I'm trying to give your big goofy looking ass and move on with your motherfucking life. Cause I, cause you know, I'm going to continue to review the same way I've been reviewing and now I'm going to do it even harder. Period. Now and I want to see, it. and I want, I want to see the reaction from this point on, because at the end of the day, the you talking about the all the fucking man. You talking about all the fucking man can day. ask what your bougie cat smell like chocolate. At the end of the day, bitch, it's a chop. It's a chop. It's a chop, and we saw that in this episode. That's the reality. Is that everybody is looking at you and just laughing because you were really the joke. Nobody takes you seriously. Nobody want to fuck with you. And if they do, they're going to keep it in secret. You like one of those desperate fucks. I couldn't, you know, you can't find anybody else. So you just do that and hope that nobody finds out about it. You know, at the end of the day, I don't have no, no I don't have no, like no energy for, for a bitch who neck look like a tire track. I, I really don't. <laughs> So, what? Oh God, so first thing, first thing. Oh. oh God. Now, oh, I suggest. Right. So now we have you just keep the I just I suggest you just keep the reads for me and keep my mama name out your mouth. But bitch, let's you gotta hit it with a bitch. Because did no you, did you get it all look like. Okay, we can move on. <laughs> <laughs> we can move right. <laughs> let's get to the stage, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we At can't. the end of the day, the day what was the original scene? I forgot. Do I have to say it again? Everything is yeah, I'm I just forgot. saying it's crazy to me that this nigga pump like puffing out motherfucking you know toenail polish bottles with some type of unanimous juice inside of it, trying to trying to tell us in an Jeremy. empty room with no decor, Jeremy. with no wall decor, Jeremy, no, no bed, no You're none right. of that. Jeremy. That this nigga smelling perfume. Jeremy. I don't know what Jeremy. shit. I don't, I, have Jeremy. that shit been approved by Jeremy. the FDA? I didn't know he was going to go on this long, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> Yeah. I wanted to, I, if if I would have been able to Jeremy. get this out, that's what I know happened. you didn't get it out last week. So you know, I mean, you but can keep the I've been sitting on that. He was, like he, but when he brought yeah. my mama into it, <laughs> that's when I felt minimum. that I had to, I had to say something. Get him, bitch. Period. But right, at, Scotty, the end, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you, you can finish dragging her throughout. Let me like you can literally bitch talking about like you wish like bitch. Don't nobody want to be in your position. If I wanted your position, I worked at the gas station when I was in my sophomore year of college. I could definitely be in that position. Every fucking like every fucking episode, every fucking episode, I see him coming in the scenes like he just got off the latest Walmart shift, and he want to sit here and talk about what the fuck I got Hold going on now because I work at Kroger. Mm -hmm. I but the, thing, Kroger. the thing about it is, you ain't out here shading the bloggers. He's saying that we making two dollars and fifty cent per video. I ain't getting paid for this shit, but I got a channel where I do get paid for this well, shit. And well, I don't even get have two dollars and fifty cent a video. I, can't. I don't get paid two dollars and fifty cent a video too. either, bitch. <laughs> Help me, I'm poor. Girl, on get another note, tip. did y'all know Don now. Lemon just got married to that white man? <laughs> Shut up, T. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. Yes. <laughs> Shut up, T. Shut up. I'm sorry, y'all. It's it's just so easy to like to generate. Okay, because listen, I'm gonna say this now. We're gonna let this go because if we stay up here too long, because let me tell you something. Last week you tried to rush me when I was trying to give out my closing remarks after you stayed on one topic for thirty fucking minutes. So we're gonna move on. So okay, when we, we get to the on. end, we ain't gonna do it. However, <laughs> do I have to say what this scene was again? Yes, please. Yes, yes please. please. Okay, because Jeremy then set up here and make this shit a reading session. Oh, uh, which I knew he, he made would. it a reading session. <laughs> Wait a bitch. Shut up, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> once again, Jay Seaver. Oh my God. Let me put this. Let me put this up here. This how much like got it. <laughs> Make the Dallas girl and making Bay a whole yeah glow okay yeah glow <laughs> JC versus Sean continued JC continued to go off John not John Sean says that he felt like JC had preconceived notions about him then he said that Ted Lee don't show up for anyone as a friend then Jet asked Kesey about his relationship with Seven 
Then he turned around and asked Seven about the same thing, and Seven shut it down. George then shows up, and Astro went outside to check on JC, who kept on sunning Ted Lee every time Ted Lee opened his mouth. Okay, now I remember. Okay. Uh, so there's a couple of couple of points I want to make about this. Um, Ted Lee, JC, you, you let a lot, you let him way too many of them slide because I'm sure JC had a lot to say, but we're gonna be like, oh, hold on, bitch. You can be, <laughs> be upset, but you ain't gonna be doing. This said, I mean, uh, uh JC said, uh, uh, this ain't about you, bitch. We cool, but none of that, <laughs> <laughs> none of that. Uh, so he's gonna let it slide because that was his friend. And then a part of me agrees both with Sean and JC in the terms of you cannot like somebody and not know them because I don't know Donald Trump and I can say I don't like him. <laughs> so that was. I think the I think the choice of words is, is I may not know you like as a person I may know that you exist, but I don't know you or much about you. And I wonder that that's where it was. And so on one hand, he's kind of like, well, you you've met me, so you're aware of me, as far as JC's comment. But then Sean was like, I know you exist, but I don't I don't know anything about you other than that we've met before at a social gathering. So I feel like they they both could make your point in that regard. And um, oh. what was the other part? It was JC and them, Sean. And what was the, what was the other part? <laughs> um, Jet asking Kesey and Seven Back. about their relationship. Jet was it messy? Him. Not, I mean, not really. Because we, we would all wanted to ask the question anyway. I mean, we all wanted to know. We just didn't want to be the one to ask the question. It was messy. <laughs> it was messy. I didn't understand one, th one thing about Jet, he going to ask. He going to ask. Yeah, one but I Jet. didn't understand why Jet wanted to, like, because you already asked Kesey, and Kesey asked her your question, I guess. So why would you turn around and ask Seven the same damn thing? Because and then you, felt like, like, you are a Get hypocrite, T. Girl. Get to it, girl. Like, T, you a hypocrite because you were saying on the first <laughs> episode that, like, Marquise was right in asking JC about his his ex and you said because that's his first time meeting him and bitch this is a show and we trying to get into that it is that, is what complete, that is completely different no it's not <laughs> yes, it is because no, it's not. Yes, let me can i can i get can i finish it is different because we know black china bitch we don't know shit about 7d all right Black China, no shade to seven, but we just gonna be honest. We gonna be but honest. The day, asking we don't know seven, but you. we do know Black China, <laughs> and he decided to be a bid for Black China, and that was a big thing because when he got recognized, all oh, the girls Jada. said that he was gay as hell, and they didn't understand what Black China was going on. When I she never went, heard, when I the never talk talk about, about, about them, everybody said. drug his ass up out the damn closet. So that's what I'm like. I get that with that, but with Jet and and and, Mar and, and Keith seeing that girl, we don't care. Not T going. Oh, up we care about we care about T about Black China who's not on the show. But <laughs> yes, we, we are because Black China <laughs> is a known figure, and, and and that was a big thing because when that came out, everybody drug his ass up out of the closet, kicking and screaming. <laughs> that, that's why I said, girl, you cannot get up here and be shocked when bitches want to ask that question because of course they're gonna ask that. That he was a big thing. That question anyway. Well, nothing else about her besides that. Yeah, that's all. But it's like. And no shade to JC, but you named everything that you're known for, and I'm sure you do it. But the only thing we know you for is is, is being her beard. Well, as I seven. said last week, I ain't even know that. So. But if you don't know seven, you looking and you see him with Queasy. That's all you know. So right. That's all you, you know what I mean? And they, and they so, yeah. so, like, so if you don't know oh, seven Casey, and all you see is, see is him with Kesey, isn't the thing that you want to do is to ask questions? Like, and now nah, because the first time I saw Kesey, I mean, uh, seven, I wanted him in my bed. Fuck Kesey. Why okay, I want, him, girl down, I want him to have me like he got Kesey because he got Kesey twerking <laughs> and all the rest of that shit. He dangerous. Oh, see, all right, so that, that would have been my first thought when I saw seven. Fuck Kesey. However, or I have them both. I, I don't mind being the, the, in the middle of that sandwich. <laughs> Fuck them, T. However, I do, <laughs> I do think that I do think that Jet Jeff is setting. I really do feel like Jet Jeff is really trying to. I don't know if he's trying to do the same thing as Sean. I don't know if he feels that like him and Sean are in a team, basically asking all the girls the messy questions. 
but I feel that he's gonna get way more than he bargained for. Fucking but Jeff been doing it. He did. He, did. he, he was. Yeah. I, I like, and I like Jeff. Jeff, keep it up, Jeff. Jeff was doing yeah, that I last like, year. I like Jeff, Jeff, keep it up, Jeff. Jeff. I don't remember that. Okay. Okay. This, is all, this is not new. This what was, new. What was the what was the messy questions he was asking last year? <laughs> We don't, you don't, I don't remember? remember last season. Where Bitch, we, I can't remember. Yes, we did. Oh, sure. Well, well, just, okay, y'all don't remember, but honey, he was asking all the messy questions last year. I was calling him Sheree when we was doing this panel last yeah. year. Mm, okay. Give him my twenty dollars. Mr. Mel has twenty. <laughs> First of all, why y'all not? Why y'all don't have y'all cash apps up anyway? I've been told y'all to have them up here. What are you Girl, talking about? We, you yelling at we do. Didn't you put them in our comments? Yeah. We do. You put them in the thing. Remember? Did I? Yeah, last season for chasing Atlanta. I did. Let me see. <laughs> You drunk bitch. <laughs> I'm expecting a I'm expecting a cash app later. Uh um, yeah, we gotta get drinks tonight. <laughs> Girl. Um Thank you, Donna, well, I appreciate me, you, baby. What did, I will say me, this though. Let me yours. Now, now somebody do me, do me. I will say this though. <laughs> JC, you very long-winded, baby. You very long-winded, and you do not know how to let a bitch get a word in edgewise. I, I will definitely say that about you, friend. Because <laughs> he would not like, let it go. He would not let it go. At him, all. <laughs> all right, y'all, like, is him and, like, George from the same place? Why you say that? Why you say that? Like, isn't, isn't George also from, like, from Shreveport, Louisiana? I know he's from Louisiana. I, from I don't know if it's Shreveport. Yeah, I don't know if it's Shreveport. I'm about to say the way that he was shutting Tedley down was very reminiscent of the way that George used to shut Tedley down last season. The way he was like, eh, I was like, that's embarrassing. Yeah, and why you keep doing your friend like that, JC? Quit doing your friend like yeah, that. Yeah, because he was really like, you know, he, it, it was really giving like Scotty and Carl, except for the fact that Scotty will get Carl ass together. You know what I'm will he? Yes, bitch. will he? Yes, bitch. You ragtag bitch. Will you? <laughs> Better yet, Scotty and T. I do not do you like that. I let you say what you got to say for you, Ted, and then Girl, I say. <laughs> well, we know that bitch over there don't, so. Fuck her. I don't care what you saying, okay? Um, Love you too, Donna, baby. So what y'all got to say about Sean Last saying that sister, she look old. Do y'all do y'all think that Sean had do you think Sean is right in his feeling that JC had preconceived notions about him before the argument started? Wait, um, I think they that? have preconceived notions about each other. I, I agree. Um, I agree. Just disclaimer, I ain't watched this episode. I'm just here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you like I thought you were gonna like be like absent today. He was. He was, but the uh, shit got pushed back, so now we're all here. Got it. But I didn't. I still didn't watch the episode. I came in at the tail end. Just oh. more, just more, you know, uh, yada yada yada, more bullying and Ted Lee, yada yada yada, you know that type of thing. Oh, oh, that's that's what happened. Go. That is not what happened. Uh, <laughs> that's not. I didn't see Ted Lee getting buck at the end of the uh, the episode. Well, finally, <laughs> shit. Okay, uh, first off, Patches gifted 10 memberships, so did Donna. So, shout out to both of y'all for the membership. Y'all, yeah, shout out that, to Patches, man. Y'all trying to see that after dark, honey. You damn right, let's do it. Yeah, I'm gonna show my ass. I just got some for panties. What are you Patches got money. Patches gave me five. I don't know what's wrong with him. I need to find a new baby dad. Child, you got your leg up. You will find one. Because Patches um, is... You right. Let me put her back up. Because you can hang oh. on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel? How do you guys feel about Sean? I'm trying to make sure we got everything in this scene. How do y'all feel about Sean saying that Ted Lee don't show up for nobody as a friend? Do y'all agree with that? Or do you think that he just pulled well, shit we're not friends that? with her, so we don't know. Right. <laughs> yeah, we really don't. I, I don't know. I mean, I will like, say this not watching the episode and being neutral about it. I can say that um, whenever somebody has an experience of someone, you can't take that away from them. I agree. It's like, I, bitch, if I, I agree with that. 
how I feel. You can't tell me just by looking at how I feel about a certain situation. I agree. But why say that in the confessional and not just pull Ted Lee to the side and talk to him about it? Because, bitch, we feel in the show and they need to hear this shit. I mean, but like, that's what, but that's what I'm saying. Like, but he's not like, he's not telling Ted Lee, like, I feel hurt by you as a friend. But you missed it. That's what I'm telling you. They said they bullied him because that was a bully moment. <laughs> Okay. Ain't nobody bullying Ted Lee ass. People came in my comments on a whole nother laugh asking me, do I Y'all right, y'all right. Ted Lee, Ted Lee is not getting bullied. He is not. Ted Lee said that he is fine. Somebody, he loves these screen friendships. Record that. Screen record that. Say it again. Josh. Yes. Ted Lee is not getting bullied. Ted, <laughs> Ted Lee said it himself. He's not Ted getting bullied. Lee right. Not, Ted Lee said it. He is not getting bullied. This is just how just his friendship out. dynamics go. He used to get like we told you like first time, and that's that. Well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be if I'm be the, I'll be damn if I'm the butt of all my friends' jokes, but that's crazy. But go ahead, go out, Ted Lee. You got it. Like I said, you can't tell nobody what they experience. They can only tell you what they experience. So if he don't feel like he's being bullied, bitch, he ain't being bullied. I'm just saying, like that shit crazy. You in the like he in the comment section of the live video, like heart in the people that are literally dragging his business acumen. I saw too, like girl, that's that. your friends, girl. I'm like, I'm I'm just like, and like then I'm saying you don't understand how like damaging it is to your business because we don't take it seriously. Like you, you went and said that you were on a business trip and we were laughing because we thought that you were lying. He ain't got no business. <laughs> and no, I mean, that's, that's what it's family. family. That was hey. the MPS well. Did they say she was the mascot for the realtor? <laughs> <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> That was an empty ass office, Tedley. No tea, no shade. Oh my like, God. I, I don't want you to pull a Yandy from Love and Hip Hop. You remember no, that shit? Was in that office with that phone, and it wasn't even hooked up to the. <laughs> I'm I'm fucking weak. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't want you pulling that, Tedley, okay? Because that office was empty as hell, friend. We ain't seen no accolades, no plants, no pictures, no computers, no printers. We ain't seen nobody walking down the hall by the water cooler. We ain't seen nothing, friend. <laughs> I'm just saying, please don't get up here and pull that shit. I can't stand that on real reality TV. Don't pull that shit up here. Okay. I yeah, guess we well, this thing then. So we moving on. Forgive me if I'm slurring. Move on <laughs> to Robert and Jack. They start talking about Sean disliking JC. Robert oh, brought up the situation with Taylor in the building. They were talking about Taylor and Astro fucking the same dude, I believe. And we heard Robert laugh the whole damn scene. <laughs> Robert, Robert left the whole real scene, real bro. Funny. That nigga be showing up high as hell. Real. like. Yes, Robert high as hell. And you real messy. High Robert. as hell. Robert, I will say I do agree with YB again. Shout out to YB. That's my bitch. Period. I do agree with him when, when he says that you're doing the same thing this season that you was content that you was condemning Trey Howard for last season. I, 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 I will agree season. with because, him with that. Because he's he wanted to be the one to be doing it. He was like, This is my lane. I want to be the messy one. I'm Roberta Flack, and none of you other bitches <laughs> are gonna be messy on the show. Right in front of me, I'm the only messy bitch on this show. You can't even call him Roberta Flag. No, this, when he told when he when he gonna wake up this season. When that nigga told Jet, I thought you brought me to Peru. I fell the fuck out. I did too. <laughs> <laughs> but this was more just like a recap. I fell the and, fuck out. And Robert said like he was gonna be messy this season, so I'm anticipating. <laughs> Oh, so he told you he was gonna be missing. Okay, well, but see, that's Robert, what he said publicly, like on the before before the first episode, he was like, "Yeah, I, 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 I'm a little messy this season." I'm just like, "Okay." But Great. Robert, that's cold word for I ain't got shit going on in real life, so I'm just gonna be the she by not a goddamn thing. That's what that screams. He does Robert. have things and I love going you, on. Robert. You know that you dead. He it does have no shame. Bitch, how many fans you got? A lot. He got way too many. Just know that. He does, but no, he does have things going on, but he's just not going to show that in favor of hiding it just to talk about, you know, roast the shit out of Ted, these fraudulent business practices. Is Robert doing nails this season or no? Does anybody know? Oh, okay. Then we don't know. No, I thought he said he stopped that. He did? I thought he stopped doing nails, I thought. Oh, we don't know. 
But why you I thought, he said, I thought he said he was opening up a salon for now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Last season you was opening up a salon. So why you oh, stop this season? Right? No, this season he's opening up a oh, salon. Oh, this season. I don't know. You know how it goes. Did y'all, did y'all hear that he doesn't want to that he doesn't want to continue the show? You know they walk in slow motion and be like, "Yeah, next year you will see me in my nail shop." <laughs> And you gotta make it real cute, like you're moving on to bigger and better things. <laughs> then you come back, and if you'll see it, you be like, "Surprise! We're gonna fight!" And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. why she's being so messy this season. She's distracting you. It's a scheme that Todd set up so you wake up the whip. The bullshit. The bullshit. <laughs> it better be some Robert, because I, I am confused, boo. I just he I, is I, messy I, as fuck this season. I'm here for it. He was, low key me- he was low key messy last season too. He been messy. Yes. <laughs> he been messy, and I really exactly. understand how they kept him another season because he didn't bring shit last season. Yeah, he brought the crazy. mess, like you said. Mm-hmm. Is the mess him trying to fight Trey all the time? <laughs> he was distracting y'all from that nail salon then. <laughs> I'm calm. I'm calm as fuck. That's what he told Trey. I'm calm. I'm calm as fuck. Oh, God. That was, so, that was probably one of my favorite scenes. That, <laughs> that purse wave I in did. the air. <laughs> I just want to. I just want to. I just want to say this. I feel personally that this season of of guys on the show are not like the last season of guys on the show. Meaning that these these niggas is bigger, buffer. A lot of them look like they can probably fight, and I feel like it's certain select few that are that are you know that are not trying to mess with other ones. If that makes sense. I feel what you said. Picking a battle wisely. Yes. Because mm-hmm. last year, it was messy uh, w- with everybody. Mm-hmm. But it's real selective this season how we being messy. We only going to be messy with bitches that we can assume cannot fight. Mm. I, like, to me, this is giving Ted Lee is being bullied again. No, I don't I'm not. Know why just, I feel I'm, not that way. I'm not just talking about Ted. I'm not talking about Ted Lee per se. I'm asking for names. Yeah, I we'll put feel, a name on. I feel that nobody really wants smoke with Seven. Nobody really wants smoke with Kesey. Nobody really wants. I, I, I don't. And I feel like people are not really trying to get smoke with Marquise yet. And that, that just leaves Sean. Jet, I want all type of smoke with Marquise, child. Smoke I, I can get him. I mean, I'm going to lick him from the root of well, the what kind of What kind of smoke would anybody have with Seven? Or okay, Silk Freak Me, baby. Okay. I mean, I it, could be, it. It, could be, it could be the same type of smoke that they had for Jet Jeff last season when they just started shading the shit out of his music. And claiming that he wasn't really a good rapper, claiming and you know just joking about his rapping skill, his success, and all of that. I remember that. Well, I can't wait yeah. to get to that scene. Oh, I was just about to say, like Astro did. Yeah, we getting there. We, we ain't there yet. I got something to say about that. I, I, because I Me know too. How, how y'all like that. <laughs> hey, like what, what, what is the outline given? Because I feel like we spit firing all over the place, <laughs> and I got things <laughs> to do. So, so the next scene is well, it's only Teddy flying to Vegas, so I don't really think y'all. Oh, next question, Tamika. <laughs> oh wait, do y'all think uh, Bobby Bankrolls and Marquise got a little something going? It's we a, br- get- it's a. I mean, shit. If they did, Jeff Jeff didn't give a fuck. We was about to get there. That's the next <laughs> scene. Oh, uh, what's the next scene? Tell it, bitch. So Jet did a f- photo shoot. He sent the invites out for the Halloween party. Barbie Bank Rose came over. They discussed Tilly and his license. Then Barbie was saying that Marquise was fine. And I guess he he is. Jet wanted he Marquise is. for himself. <laughs> but Barbie said that she was talking to him first. And then it, uh, Barbie said she didn't understand why Sean was mad. Y'all go ahead. It feel like Marquise curbed her. To me. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like he was like, "Oh yeah, girl, I'll meet you at the um at, on Wednesday at the chasing chasing Dallas, you know, filming set." It wasn't given, you know, come over to my house. 
And that's why he said that I don't really know her or remember her, but I think I might have messaged her once or twice. It was like, I don't yeah, that return confession. sender. That confession was a little spicy. I said, damn. Damn. He I said, I, I need to continue. I really want to put this to bed. I really want to put this to bed. And I know, and Ben don't know exactly what I'm going to say because he brought it up the last time I saw him. Does Barbie sound like me when she talks? Yep. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> you need to put your record out, bitch. I didn't really, I never paid attention like that. I have to look again. They be saying I sound like her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. A, lot, a lot of motherfuckers was telling me that. So what was was telling me like, what yeah, you, you sound like. the last time you saw Bando to make him think you sound like Barbie Bank Rose throwing your hair back? Yeah. <laughs> what were you doing, Scotty? I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> that bitch ain't got no hair. I told her to <laughs> yeah, get a major so rep, a, a major red ponytail like me. She won't do it. She want to be Tony Braxton. That'll be cute on her. She don't get one when she goes to Atlanta. <laughs> she want to be Tony Braxton. I said, whatever, bitch. You got to get a ponytail so you can wear And I can't stop thinking about. <laughs> I look at I'm wrong, y'all. So basically, y'all saying that we're similar. I can hear it. I can hear it. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. But your Thank voice you is a little are. higher, though. And Ariel, quit playing. Go on. I feel like it. Ariel has more of a list. Mm -hmm. I do, too, though. He do, too. But not, it, it, oh, you do. I feel like it's more prominent to me. I would never I associate Ariel. the two. Well, I'm Ariel... Sorry. Get to Diaga and then DM me and tell me what it's like so I can live vicariously through you. I think my list you. is way more permanent now that I got my teeth done, but I don't know. Wait, getting your teeth done make you have a stronger list? I thought it fixed that. It didn't it fix depends it. Depends on how me. big you get them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got yours, like, did you get yours in uppercase, Scotty? <laughs> I'm screaming. No, I'm trying to figure out. Not you trying not to get me on a slick. Not you trying to say, say, no, say, that's, say that's Mississippi. This is that's what Carl said. Yeah, no, don't do that now. Say Mississippi. I want to hear it. I didn't say that ain't what I said. Mississippi. <laughs> Girl, what? Mm, Mississippi. <laughs> That's what I heard. That is not it, bitch. Did you say Mrs. Skippy? That is not, not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> See, first of all, <laughs> who not uppercase, bitch? <laughs> that, I did not mean it like that. That yes, was not. It didn't come out. Y'all are not about to make a joke out of me. That's I'm not, not uppercase. We, we, we ain't about to treat you like Ted Lee. We ain't gonna do that. To you. <laughs> We friends over here. Yeah. <laughs> we don't drag each other's businesses. <laughs> Donald, no why would you do that? No, no good. <laughs> I'm a re re yes, thanks for reminding me to never say where I'm from once again around Bando ass again because he would think this shit fun. <laughs> <laughs> he oh, think this shit. with your man on our account. Move on. He, he think this shit funny. But anyway, uh, <laughs> where are we at? Let's move on. Um, so y'all, so y'all think that um, basically Barbie was um, pretty much. She said she out like she don't want to be there. She's like, is bitch, she, I got is she part of the cast? I That's think she'll be there because she got some music to promote. She don't want to talk to nobody. She just be there. Oh, she want the camera light. And what does she have against? What does she have against Sean? We don't know yet. <laughs> is is it? Is, are we gonna find out before or after the breakdown? It's a lot of drama in Dallas. I need to go. <laughs> 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 These pictures take a five month break, bitch, and all hell break loose. <laughs> well, before we get into the rest of the show, y'all already know that I have to give you guys a fucking commercial break, and that is to promote Darius real fast. So let's get into Darius and his yes, book Darius. really quick. Let's hey, get into Darius. it. Right? What's up, everyone? It is Darius asking you to check out my newest children's book, DJ Stands on Business. 
Follow along as five friends who are entrepreneurs by the name of Pixel, Raven, a dynamic duo we can learn, and a children's book author named DJ use their entrepreneurial spirit to save money to go on a trip to Mexico. So follow along as children can learn about terms that teach them about entrepreneurship and give them the opportunity to open up the world in the adventures of friendship, and entrepreneurship. You can check out my children's book, DJ Stands on Business, as well as DJ's favorite day and Twinkle Little Star at www.kingdariusbooks.com. So y'all do know that I play this commercial on every video that I do, right? And is it just me? Did he, is we were born in this book? We no, can watch. the damn show look like Oliver had been there. Oliver. It looked like it looked it look, it look, it look like Oliver, Nicole, and we were born. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I thought it was just and they in the mix. <laughs> like he got some dick to smell good. Y'all don't get yeah. that. <laughs> why, why are children going to Mexico by themselves? Who said that? <laughs> who, said, who said something about going to Mexico? I don't know. Do we have to call the federal department? <laughs> I don't think so. Call the federal department. Like, Ravine, who are you talking about? If, if, you, if you're going to talk shit about a book, make sure you buy it. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah. It's like your dick pretty, so I'm going to buy it. What if it's $20? I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm weird. laughs> Times is hard. Missy just went on concert, bitch. I got to have I know, call. right? I want to go to the phone. I want to go so bad. bad. Lord Jesus. I want to go so bad. Yeah. Oh, my God. But, um... There's so many concerts I want to go to so bad, but this ain't the panel. Phase. It's 85 going this year. Right. Oh, Bando. Bando. <laughs> it, said, it is a lot. Ravine, Ravine said, keep her name out your mouth. She said Darius told her that they're going to Mexico and she already ordered the book. Ooh. Where, oh, did okay. say, where did she say? Where did she say? When I say her name. Oh, you didn't say her okay. name. I just added it in there. My yeah, bad. Miss, because she did not say <laughs> not you, okay. her name on her mouth. She just said, that's what Darius said. That's this what she is said. stupid. You're being messy. But anyway. I'm uh, fucking weak. <laughs> the next scene was Astro when he was, you know, meeting yeah. up with that guy to plan a drag night, I believe. That sounds like a dope idea. Moving on. Yeah, I agree. Moving on. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> he, no, he wanted. He wanted. Astro. Excuse me. Excuse me. He wanted to promote and host a queer night, and he wanted to get some artists and some talent and get some drags as well. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. He was trying to make it, you know, make something perform. happen. With that. I would actually like to see him do it in the. Yeah, I'll go perform. Yep, yeah, I sure will. I I go in. If you're going to perform, I go. Mm. In that case, I'm in there too. Like, shut dude. your ass up, bitch. Yeah. Bitch, you want to see me, bitch? You want to what see? Do you say? Um, Why is everybody doing um, for me? Um, I ain't like that. Um, I ain't like the way it rolled off your tongue. I ain't like it. It was. It was very condescending. It was very Kenya Moorish. It was. Oh, wait, it was so very like Portia was. Williams. It was more than like. Wait. So are we talking about Astro now? Uh, well, yeah. I was talking about Panda, but them drunk bitches Ooh. argue. Moving on. <laughs> 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 I'm lost. But um, they told me to move on because they don't really care about this thing. So the next you just don't want to hear nothing about Astro. <laughs> Wait, well, okay, so we are talking about Astro. So I had a question: Is it me, or did the business just sound like a party bus? <laughs> it did. I don't be. I was like, I was like, now I am from now. I don't know, maybe because I'm from Las Vegas. It just sound like a party bus to me. No shade, but it did. That's why I wanted to move on. But I was like, why not just make the party bus? Okay, yeah, next just, question. Why not just start your own company of party buses? Like, I'm not even trying to be... Sh Y'all, it's not even giving, like, no nothing shady like that. But I'm saying, like, why not just start a business, like, and do, and, like, rent out party buses rather than, you know, just trying to solely make it for the LGBT community because like they're only going to do it sometimes and you know sometimes people money can be a little funny so I'm just saying why not open it to a wider range of people who could rent it out and have parties more often well you got to start somewhere okay I mean I I'm just saying like that's not taking yeah. away from what you said but you do got to start off 
where you can. First. And I'm just going to say a, a, a drag queen like Cartwheel and doing splits on a moving bus does not sound like a good idea to me. <laughs> I feel like it'd be a great thing to see. I feel like yeah, somebody and I feel, and I feel like they can do it. No, yep. but I see, like as a nurse, a, I, a I do. As a nurse, I do agree with Jeremy. I I, I wouldn't because then you you're gonna be carted off to me, and I don't feel like hearing your doing story. I wouldn't suggest anybody with flats. Carted okay, off, let really? alone in stilettos. And right. the club, yeah. In like, in like drag queen and flats, isn't that just a cross dresser? I thought the like the like the oh. okay, y'all is a whole nother topic. Isn't like I thought the heels like was the difference to me. I be watching like I I'm like I was raised around a lot of drag queens. They that's what they said. They I said drag queens do totally not different. wear. They said drag queens do not wear flats. They said if they so catch good. you in a club wearing flats, you are not getting on stage. I was just talking about a, just a person in general doing cartwheels on a bus is dangerous. About. Let alone somebody oh. with five, six layers of stockings on, pads, titties, makeup, wigs, and heels. They're gonna be going five <laughs> miles per hour so everybody can see. Oh yeah. So let's go. Damn, next, y'all next want us question. to move on already? We barely been talking about the shit for like two minutes. I said move on ten minutes ago. I'm tired of this. <laughs> oh he making a party bus with a drag queen on it. Great, yeah. moving on. Right, moving on. <laughs> um, let me answer this question first. Well, Jamar can answer because it's for him. I haven't, but they want me to so bad. I will one day. The same. Y'all better tip. If yeah. I ever step on anybody's motherfucking stage, you hoes better make it motherfucking rain. All I gotta say is, we got dollars for you, bitch. All <laughs> I gotta better, say is. You better kill that performance. To, the, the way you want folks, the way they want you to step on that stage is the same way you want to put makeup and shit on my face. So it's probably never oh, going to happen. So cute. Well, no, you make, that, a, you that, make that a pretty drag easy. queen. No, I would not. You already got the eyebrows. Now, y'all know I would. Like, they already no snatched you. Yeah, you got it. Uh -uh. You got a little pretty face. <laughs> I've already given stud realness. And what's your name gonna be, Madame Scotty Everlasting? Bando said, "Uh, uh." Like, like, like I get it. Like, if Scotty like, if Scotty wants to press up, like, you got a pretty mouth. Miss Scotty Shabara, the bamboo good pussy. I love it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking weak. Hell yeah, this the bamboo. <laughs> yes, the bamboo. Come on, the bamboo. You <laughs> stupid. I remember that movie. <laughs> Niggas <laughs> be trying to hide the good shit. Yo, okay, yeah, hooray, hooray! That was my shit. I am not hooray. about to do this with y'all. Okay, um, he said yes, I do, but, but not, not with, with you. With you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, cultural confusion came in here swinging, didn't she? What did he say? Oh, he did. Should I, or what she did? I'm sorry. Should I put that on the screen? Yeah, okay, I can't so see. Culture Confusion said just finished the episode and Sean is a liar grasping for straws as I thought. Trying trying to uh -oh. open but not talking about that pamphlet idea in that palm oil that ain't working. <laughs> okay, Ooh. now here's my thing. I know we ain't really because Sean tried it last week, but she was my MVP last week. Bitch. She was reading them bitches. And she's a reader, and I'm here for it. Well, you know, I'm not a reader, so. <clears throat> Who was your MVP this uh this episode? I am. I'll read a whole down to her G. We gotta get to the end first. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So how about this? How about okay, this? Scotty. How about this? When we get to the end, we gonna I'm gonna ask everybody who their MVP was. How about that? Period. Okay. But. It's been an hour. Me and Tramel going to the club, wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. We finna suck some dick tonight. Anyway, I might, I might eat some booty. I just, I'm sucking all the dicks. <laughs> anyway, so Marquise met up with his friends. Um, he was talking about his experiences with the with the group, his breakup, and his daughter. Anything y'all want to say? He about had a daughter. Yeah, that's the only thing. I think that's pretty dope. Yeah, that's dope as well. I wanted to hold my man in his little turquoise fucking turtleneck, bitch, and let Child, him know listen, that he thought... got a spot on my C cup all day. Girl, look, I am I screaming. Good Shut dick. the fuck up. I thought <laughs> I am here. If you got a daughter, that means you got good dick. And I want all pieces of it. 
I I thought being gay, you avoided baby mama drama. That's what that's that, really like, baby, like, like, who baby said, mama who drama. said that they gay? Who said that they gay? I would check that baby mama. I would check that man that broke his heart after uh, five years. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and he could cook me a meal, and I rub his feet. Uh, uh-uh, I ain't checking the baby mama because that's y'all. Oh, fuck you, we. I ain't got time for that. I'm checking baby mamas about about Marquis and bitch. That's my man. Y'all <laughs> <you know? laughs> I ain't got time man. for the baby mama <laughs> shit. Man, I, 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 I done been there, done that, and I, 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 I oh, we know. We sucking dick all summer. We fucking everybody's man. Everybody's man. Cause if I was a nigga baby mama, I'd be the baby mama from hell. God knew what he was doing, not making me a woman. That's for sure. Oh my god. How many kids you was doing? If you was oh a, a woman, if you was a woman, how many kids did you think you would have Joey, by now? Joey, just, two. Two. just two. Just two. Just two. That's it. Just two. You give me, you give me I, a five I, or six. I, I, I'm, I'm a, a fucking back, hey. lady. And I will only have two because I'm that about to get an abortion. No, I said it. Oh, no, I don't believe in that. Believe in that. I don't believe in that. Mm, that's murder. I don't believe that. Back. I wouldn't be like Scotty. See, if Scotty, if Scotty was a woman, he'd have about six. What the fuck got to do with this? Uh-uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, what I got to do with this? Like, I'm literally damn it, right damn it. I'd have been a rich baby mama because listen, four of them twins. Like, girl, what you got going on? <laughs> as, as, as a woman, I'd have been opposite. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> I like bum niggas. <laughs> I'm cool. Speak of the devil. Hey, my man. Hey, my <laughs> man. <laughs> we were just talking about you, you friend. Marquise, I'm going to suck your dick from the back Hold to the on. front. I'll do whatever you man, do. Man, I'm fucking screaming. This nigga's car. stupid, y'all. I got a car. Marquise, I, I second everything Carl said. I'll Uber you from here to tomorrow. I second everything <laughs> Carl said. Everything Carl said, I second Marquise. Point blank, Marquise. period. I got one. I'm chasing the beat, bitch. Come get a piece. Point blank, hear you, Marquis. And you a daddy. I'm here for it. I love you, daddy, Marquis. Love me a good daddy. Then what? We serving a bunch of This is terrible. I'm poor. I'm poor. Y'all got to get this nigga out of here. Y'all got to get this nigga out of here. This is so We bad. serving buddy pussy and donkey dick all, all night. day. That part. I'll take care of you. He sounds intrigued based on the comments. Let me tell Casey. Let me tell Marquis. Look, Marquis uh, already knows what time it is. Hold on, that's no, my nickname. No, no, that is not. That's somebody else's nickname. We ain't doing I don't that. know about him. He got a man. I'm talking about this kid. Nah, uh, uh, no, not that one. We Keith, all with, you gotta do is Big cook. Mark. Hey, Big Mark, just cook. And yeah. I, got you. <laughs> I know that part because a bitch like to eat. Dick is sucked. <laughs> Food is sucked. I can cook too. Okay. Dick suck while you cooking. After you foot after you cook. Yeah. Wait, why, 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 why are you cooking? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Dump this man bones, and I ain't gonna lie. I don't want to hear that. Bone can be in me. Oh He's my single God. and <laughs> in the man. That part. That part and Marquise yeah, look like he yeah. got inches, and I want every bit of it. What's good, uh, baby? This it's nasty music over bring here, baby. Up. Point blank, period. Bring, bring them up, up. Room. bring them up and in. That part, <laughs> that part, honey. We man eat us. Oh bread. my god, you hear me? <laughs> Yeah, Sorry, let's take a shot, Scotty. I make an egg roll that you die for, okay? Get that the, part. Get one of my egg rolls, okay? I don't cook. I'm fucking I don't screaming. Cook, I let's I take a shot, room. Bando. I've had six. <laughs> they call me Thanos out here in these streets. I be collecting these bitches. You about to snap your ass into it. Everybody want to everybody want to marry me. Okay. <laughs> All the niggas want to chew up on my bubble gum. I'm the type of nigga who I'm take cool, to your mama house. You want an L? Take to your mama house. Yeah, okay. They used to call they used to call gooseneck back in the day, baby. That's gooseneck right there. <laughs> Yeah, so you gotta right. calm down, Marquise. You, you can't you handle, handle all this booze. She'll get you right, my boy. Make me calm down. <laughs> you can't right. Make me calm down. <laughs> you gonna calm down now? I'm a Pisces. Ain't no common. Ain't no tame in this boo. I'm a Pisces. There's no tame. You cannot. You can't do that. I'm a Pisces too. 
Hey, okay, I'm up. There's no taming us, boo. You better catch up. <laughs> y'all know y'all didn't tip me. <laughs> this, is, this is taking an unexpected turn. Catch up, turn. Marquise, and I don't speak. Yeah, turn into dick. Jamar. <laughs> Jamar. Okay, you have, to, you, you have to control this. You the only oh, no, one I don't control this, but this ain't my platform. Marquise, Marquise. Excuse me? Marquise, guess what? I barely ate. <laughs> right, so we Marquise, I'm fucking I got screaming. Oh my god. I cannot. <laughs> I barely it, ate. It's, uh, you it's, funny still as hell, over here. it's still good. <laughs> He told Jamar, love you. Thanks for the love and the support. I appreciate Jamar, you. Jamar, you ain't taking my man, you ragtag bitch. <laughs> Look, <laughs> you didn't move fast enough because I, so I was there with Marquise That's in the audition. Not you ain't move fast enough. You got to be quicker than that. I was there with Marquise during the audition, so I, re, I started working early. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I clock in late, but I'm going to get the ball. <laughs> Mama kill them. Mama kill them. Mama kill them. Mama kill them. Gotta get control of these cores. I can't get control of them. Ain't that that. something, though, Carl? We set up here and threw all our best minds out, and that hoe above me got them. Well, all right, moving on. I'm sorry. All right, so now we at Jet. We at Jet and Robert's party, right? No, not yet. We got one. We got one scene before that. Okay, what's up? Carl and T sound like the drunken aunties at the local hole in a while. You better know it, bitch. We took that thing too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, T over there with his leg. <laughs> Tell him, T, like this. <laughs> Not the kneecap. I'm weak. Uh, I want to know how damp that seat is. Mm. Oh. oh, my God. So. Uh. Uh-oh. The next scene was Seven performing at Southwest. That nigga had a 20 um, minute set. He killed that. Yeah, he had 20 now, that, now that's a set. Um, now that's a set. The sets is like, that you know that you got it like that and they have the stamina like that. He was dressed right. He had yeah. energy on that stage. Shout out to his stylist. Period. Yes, God. <laughs> Seven tens yeah. across the board. You free to go, baby. Shout yeah, out to yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, baby. Hey, he he really really go stream his music. Shit. Support us. Support yeah, us. Got to shimmy my music. shoulders a little bit when the hips come on, bitch. Support he looks, us. He oh, looks really good on um, with black hair. Yes, he does, he does Jeremy. I love it. I was uh, like, I, 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 is this yes. gonna like snowball into the scene with him and Kesey? Jesus, is what scene with him and Kesey? Like, I thought that Kesey and him had a scene together, and he was okay, like, you know... That's next week. Next, that's, oh, next, that's, next, next, that's next week. Oh, I could have swore it was this episode. He was like, you ain't gonna let... You can't let these niggas play. That's, that's, next, episode. that's next, next week. Oh, okay. No, support support independent artists. Though. His music is really good, y'all. Yeah, it is. Y'all gotta yeah, it is. Everything. I'm yeah. a fan of man eater. I'm a fan of sex with my ex. Now, that is, the, that is my jam. That's my lady jam. That's my lady. Oh, that's my lady. I like, I like Hoochie. I like Hoochie. I like that song too. I bet you do, Hooch. <laughs> well, I'm not the one that's with my. I, well, you the one with your <laughs> leg up fighting with Carl over Marquis. So <laughs> me and Carl ain't fighting. Man, this man now act like his whole whole ass. Hey, we we shared. We friends. That's what Hello, friends do. Ain't nobody say a fight. I'm the bitch that's been all over your voicemail. That what? Ain't what ain't nobody fight. Do. What you like know about Jack? What, what, what do you know about Jack Yo? Oh, you know all about Jack. The real. Oh, I love you, Jack Yo, honey. Hello. I get diamonds. Can I see the I'm the bitch that's been all over your voicemail. Dropping by your house, <laughs> taking you through hell. Can you tell Can me you why I'm not answering his cell? Nah, oh, I ain't playing, playing on your phone. You can see me when you see me. Put your house on the phone. I'm the reason he got his hair cut. Come on, tell him, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I get it from my man. And I know how to handle it. Plus, I got a motor like a banshee. If that's your man, <laughs> that's your man. Girl, girl, get it. So I'm standing by the bar, pair of toe, bow legged. Bow legged. I make a one to hit the bear. It ain't his birthday. It's his birthday. That's the reason he got a pair of toe. Turned on by my skin claw. Now he can't talk, but I'm going to give him what he can. He told me to. Now, roll. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so we had Jet and Robert's party, right? Band, no, don't be rushing us, bitch. <laughs> I, I thought you had to go to the club. Out of here. 
No, so we the are, when the club closed, isn't it like open until like three over there? Yeah, this yeah, we in there. We, we well, gotta we get old. I'm tired. We oh, we get we leaving early. <laughs> now <laughs> the, the scene went me. like this. Is that your new man? Mar huh? Oh Marquise clock it. Marquise clock it. Marquise um was talking about, you know, he had his confessional about Barbie that y'all brought up earlier. Um, I don't know who made Sean the trick first. I really kind of zoned out on that part. I don't know who made him a trick first. Me but, too. But Astro said yeah, that a whole party. Um, Astro said that Kesey was a treat. Je Jeff was a trick because of his rapping skills. JC said that Sean was a trick. JC then apologized <laughs> to Sean and then said Teddy was his treat. Marquis said that Sean was a trick, but Seven was a treat. Kesey said Seven was a treat. JC was a trick. Seven <laughs> said Kesey was a treat, but Jet Jeff was a trick. Sean said Seven was a treat and says that Tevin was a trick because he be lying. Sean said, Sean called Tilly out for the lies. Then it was Sean and Tilly going back and forth. Then JC called Sean out. Then Jet Jeff said Astro was a trick, but Marquise was a treat. Of course. <laughs> Who's the like quick question? I want to ask all y'all this. Yeah, got I, the treat. Can I ask her all y'all this question? Because I feel like y'all listen to their music more. Who has better music? Astro or Jet Jeff? Well, because Jet, Jet, Jet it depends Jeff. On your, it depends on, your it depends on how you're looking at it. Astro, I feel lyrically is the better of uh, a better artist, but more marketable, it'd be Jet. Be, yeah. Jet just started at number nine on it? Apple Music. Well, because yeah, I can agree with I can agree with that. Well, yeah. because I'm a, because I'm a hood boy, I like Astro better. That's what you are, Scotty. Gunica all day. Period. You, you was a you was a hood. So who you Astro, Kaya? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, two hundred. I mean, I'm just asking, and I look. I got Kaya first album, one Astro and only is album. Not bitch. Kaya. Astro she got, is she got, much, she got like, Let she got like seven through. albums. What are you talking about? That's a hood nigga princess. Yeah, but you okay, know the about. first one is the only one everybody really know like that. And I love. She got like Kaya got some really good music. Like she, she got this do. song called Yum Yum. She that I love. I'm just, I'm just, is better you know. than Astro. Who? She said Mama D was better than Astro. In that order. In that order. In that order. I deserve movie. as a classic. I don't care. It's I deserve. It is. I deserve. I deserve. I purchased that song for ninety nine cent when it came out. <laughs> you bought that song? I did. I deserve. I quote that song more no. than I did. I quote that song. Makes me want to say. Da 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 da. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Don't do that. Well, listen, seven. You can be my trick, my treat, and I'll be your trick. That's what I'm it can sure. be. Sure. All right, and the same thing could be for you, um, Marquise, but not with what you came. You didn't just pass your hole right. to the whole cast. <laughs> you can only have one, see. You only have one. How many uh, no, people you want to fuck on the cast? No, I, can't, uh -uh, no mm -mm. I can't have one. I gotta, I gotta have a couple so I can weigh my options and see who better. Then I can pick. So basically, you came and share. They think you love them, but you love them all. Pretty much. You ain't know that. You've been my best friend for how long? Five years. Oh, that's so sweet. Y'all both sluts. <laughs> I know like hell you ain't talking and we just sat here and said all the nasty freaky Bitch, I know I'm a slut. Because you make music a slut, first of all. Jamar, see me and you the save ones on the, on the panel. You're not saved, bitch. And Jamar worse than us. I'm not saved, nigga. Stop playing. Jamar is worse you than us. Know, you don't know me like that. Absolutely not. You bitches. <laughs> <laughs> God, am I lying? He is not lying. You are not lying, T. He had you know his. I'm gonna take this. <laughs> he had his stuff, honey. <laughs> Wait, where did he go? Shut up. Is you still? You better not still be on that chair. <laughs> he is on that chair. <laughs> I'm crying. So what y'all gotta say about this? Ah, bitch. It's doing these nails for me. Ah! I just 
one of those. Them, are you gonna keep them nails for boss babe? Uh, oh, like maybe. Two, that's two weeks away. Yeah, that's a little minute. You gotta get a fresh step. Mar, <laughs> Mar, J um, Jahai Harper in the comments said you look like you gobble good. Is that? I was is just that reading that. Right. And you know, and they do say the slutty niggas be having them fingernails like you got. Oh, Jamar's a cock goblin. In store mm -hmm. They say now, this is play. a lie. This is a lie. Tramel is not the only saved one up here. I am saved, right? I'm trying to tell. I am the saved one on this, on this channel. Bitch, it ain't you either. <laughs> you don't, what are you talking about? Ain't a saved bitch. I, I, I ain't ain't a saved bitch time. on here. I really, I am saved. Ain't oh. a saved bitch on this fucking panel. <laughs> I'm a heartbroken person. I made it talk about it. I agree with you, Sofa Dog. I agree. I agree. I Nikki, do? you bullying me? Nikki's a bully. <laughs> a bonnet bully. A bonnet bully. I just want everybody to know that Nikki, Nikki McDay, Miss Nikki McDay, she bullies me regularly. <laughs> <laughs> I am one with and the And she bullies. talks about me like a dog. Bitch, when you said in your bully bun, in your bully house, in your <laughs> that was so fucking fun. Her bully house. with Y'all are going to bully my best friend. Shout <laughs> to my girl Nikki. Wait a minute. Jeremy, Bando, Tramiel are the same one. Yeah, Who like, said well, that? I don't, well, I don't know. Shit. Excuse Bando me. Shit me. Shit me. I, I know. Was like, I was like, don't he be sending you out, out Scotty? Okay, because no. I'm very safe. I'm the no. only one uh -uh. on this panel don't that posts his gospel songs on Sunday. Don't, what? How did I get it? Now, as far as Tramiel, I don't mm, know. But don't it's you, you got it right. Excuse me. <laughs> I am Shut up, Bando. Um, <laughs> let me see. Tramiel, I'm a bully you after this panel. We know. We already know. I already see. I already mm -hmm. see, see. She admitted. Nikki, you now you fucking up, bitch. I'm trying to keep your shit in here. <laughs> Tramiel, you is innocent. <laughs> Tramiel, you is innocent. I know that, child. Yeah. yeah. Tramiel is my best friend. She ain't nothing innocent about that bitch. Bitch, am I, are you lying? Yeah. She what does that mean? Friend. Okay. Well, well, because you already know. Well, because everybody thinks that Jamar is innocent, and you know that Jamar is my best friend. But that means I'm innocent. Jamar been fucking all of that new. That's slow. That's slow. <laughs> She's a mortgage paying slur. <laughs> you laugh. They called right. call you a slur, too, Terrence. They say you a slut and a They say you a big ass slur, Terrence, in this comedy. Yeah. Girl. I mean, that's hey, can we talk about the sexy red uh, outfits? Who wore they, better? They can tell you the slur, Terrence, by your kneecaps. Oh, by the way, Bando, they said not Mr. Nasty on all streaming platforms. I just want to put that out there. Uh huh. Cause I told yes, y'all all them that all streaming platforms. They called you. They called you Scotty Bent by nature. Rubble my what the fuck? Scotty <laughs> Bent by nature. Hey, I'm hollering. I'm screaming. What the uh, dick to spit. Suck on my are, tit. They're reading the shit. I'm in my ass and I'm a thick. Tastes a little, little, taste a little Lamar, bit. Hey, thank you. Lamar thank you. 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 Jamar is not innocent, first of all. What so scene are we on? I'm about to be saying, we about to go to the club. Because if he's trying to fuck the baby boy, just drop the ad. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Vando, give him a piece. But, uh, oh, um, so, who had the best, um, first of all, who had the best costume? Who I'm wore better? With, I'm, I'm going to start with Vando first, and then we're going to go around. Who had the best uh, costume to you? I don't know. I think uh, I think Astro got the best costume, and then JC looked like just somebody different. <laughs> I'm screaming, Bando. Jamar, go ahead. <laughs> I'm fucking screaming, Bando. What I'm just saying, like, chow. I I feel like I feel like Astro had more of the mannerisms and the look, uh, the look and like the personality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I did enjoy JC's wig better. Yeah. Speaking of JC, when he in the confessional, that red hair gave me cherry slush. I'm just saying. Um, Who's that cherry slush? Cher cherry, cherry slush. Slush. Oh, okay. Slush. Okay. I'm sorry. Jim, uh, Jeremy. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Seven and Casey. I'm sure you will. 
Um, and the worst, in the worst, I would have to give that to JC. JC said that Astros look like Holiday Hard, but it was definitely him. <laughs> I agree. I do agree. <laughs> okay. I don't know if Tramil saw that part or not. So I'm gonna did, did you see, see that part? part? I yeah, played for favorite was the Chippendales. <laughs> okay, well, he saw it. Seven oh, you did. Add up. I like that. They um, said, um, Jahai said Sean had to wear a costume. What was the dress that? My was? favorite costume was Sean's because he said, Bitch, they said I'm fat like a pumpkin, so bitch, I came as one. <laughs> <laughs> but wasn't he dressed in but wait, wasn't he dressed in black? He had a pumpkin shirt on with a little hat. <laughs> bitch, I'm a mouse. <laughs> Duh. Oh, okay. Duh. Go ahead. Oh, and who was the worst? The worst for me, um, Honestly, and this is no shade, KC and Seven, y'all could have did better than that. I do agree. Why? Yeah. What was wrong? Y'all did. Y'all literally did money. Um, fucking mean girls, bitch. Yeah. Y'all put on, bitch. I'm a mouse. Like, what the fuck? They were chipping there. They were strippers. I don't like it. I they they like naked. Like they were naked, was naked, was naked with yeah. leather pants on. Yeah. T. Um, for me, it was Barbie. I, when I when I saw her, I typed it in the chat. I said, "You better bust through, bitch." What I was, was cool. she? <laughs> Um, what was she? I, won't she Red Riding Hood? That's what I got from. Is I that what they I thought she was like the devil. devil. I thought the it was devil. She had on horns. Mm. I didn't see the horns. It's giving Lil Nas X. Call me by your name. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I would say the worst for me. I, I I would say seven and Kesey because I do feel like they could have did a lot better. Like that really? that it was cute for them, yeah, but they could have definitely did a lot better. Y'all got body. Y'all saying seven already. and Kesey because of the way they look. But that's, that's why the part. But like the way that they no, look, they look part good of the as fuck. Yeah, they're not it. Yeah, they're like it's like the only way they were to pull pull that off is because of how they look. Can y'all imagine Sean in that Chippendales costume? Why Sean I, I gotta don't be want in? To. I'm just Call okay, me okay, I'm just like your name. Are you fat? Shane? No shade. No, I live for Sean. I'm just. Sean is uh, what about, uh, what about like, you know? And he was twerking down at the motherfucking Halloween he party. He Speaking of twerking down, Miss Kesiana. Girl, you is no, getting bust down there. good, bitch, and I can tell because yeah. when you got the twerking, and, and then you bent over to the front and well, touched the toe, I said, twer- yes, God. Get low, bitch. He was. Yeah, he did. I why was for it. Okay. Why, can't it, why can't it be a versatile relationship? Because I just don't think so. Yeah. I don't think oh my so. Gosh. I, I, he, it, listen, it, 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 it can't can be. Like, it, can it, be. Gives, it gives birth. Come on, nah, I don't dogs, think so. Work too. They do, they do. I'm That's why I don't think so. I've I'm been straight. a bottom I'm all straight. my life. I, I, I don't. It, it don't. It, it Kesey does not give me that. It, it you don't. Better, you better, me. you better own bottom all your life. You better own. Yeah, it, it don't give me flip flop. It gives me Kesey getting bust the fuck down, and I'm I ain't mad at it. What's up, Tatley? What's like? Up, that's what I feel like. That's what you fantasizing about. I am because I told you I would, love, I, I, I would love to be in the middle of it. I told you that, so I'm for it yeah, either way. Said that last week. Um, I did. I'm for it either way. Like so, down the gas for a battle. So the last question is because we do know that because we do know that Tremil and Carl got a dash. Last question is who was the MVP, and we're gonna start this off with Vando again. Who was the MVP? Tonight I'm gonna say Jet Jeff. Oh, wait, wait, we we're not gonna talk about the actual scene. I thought we did. I thought we, we did. did not. We just we, we just did. got into the outfits. That nah, was it good. was a continuation of last week. They were shaving each other, child. And since <laughs> you want to get the most shit off your chest about Sean. No, the fuck I don't. I'm good. We got just, five minutes to spare. <laughs> yes. I'm yes, just so saying, episode, like, we, like, we didn't even, like we didn't even talk about like did we? We did. That's I swear we did not. Is this I, where is this where JC went like went outside? JC, I thought that was at the beginning. JC apologized to Sean only for them to go at it again. Yeah. And then um I didn't see this thing. When JC talked, I just my ears tune out. So what I was you watching? I would be much help for you because right. 
She apologized, right. and then she started going in. Because the whole, because the, the whole scene was pretty the, much who was a trick and who was a treat. Yeah, and the point was like she said that she didn't want to be known for the like the black China stuff and why you don't like me, but she brought it up literally every fucking five scenes. I don't talk about it no more. I did see that part where Sean was like. I just don't know you. Like, uh, we seen each other, but that's it. I've had a conversation and he with has you it. to know you enough to say that I don't like, I can say I don't like you because, bitch, I don't know you. Period. And it should be fine. I, I think I saw that part, which I thought was kind of like. And I love the broccoli line, bitch. I don't know broccoli, but I don't like her, bitch. I did too. I screamed. <laughs> right. I screamed. <laughs> <laughs> wait, like, what is like, what is that? Like, is, like, wait, what bitch, is Tammy in the comments talking broccoli. about? Wasn't he there? Telly said he didn't want to come. He had literally just flew back in town and didn't have time to dress up. That's well, y'all gotta realize all y'all cast like, did I, is tuning in. I could have sworn he went. Wasn't he, didn't he go there with his friend Mark? Yeah, he was there, but he's saying he didn't want to be there because he had just got back into town and he didn't have time to dress up. That's what he's saying. Oh, well, next time, okay. you know, y'all can come up here on episodes and, you know, tell y'all peace, you know? Yeah. yeah. Scotty yeah. blade shut up, bitch. <laughs> what? What, what I heard my name. What what happened? Yeah, Scotty's a whore. Ain't. Anyway, so yeah. uh Bando, who did you say your MVP was? You always want to give it to Bando. Bando always it, was, it, it was it was it was gonna be Jet Jeff. So yeah. Episode one was Astro, episode two was Sean. This episode was Jet. Look, she always wanna give it to Bando. He was the, he's the first one up here. Bitch. Whose fault was that? Did you arrange Jamar, the box? Who was your MVP? <laughs> uh, for the, for this episode, uh my MVP is going to be 7 for his set. Period. Jeremy. I agree. I'll say 7. Um Carl Tremell. Well, <clears throat> Tremell is the episode. I say I say I can say one. I can, oh, I can say oh, one. Okay. 7D because of his, uh, because of the show and the fact that he checked people about his relationship, and he showed up looking cute and did what he was supposed to do. Period. Carl, mine's is Jet Jeff because you're messy. <laughs> T, I, I am. I love it. <laughs> it's Jet for me. T in your leg and your ponytail. Seven. <laughs> 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 it's that me, bitch. You freaked up, baby. It's seven. I'm crying. Okay. And mine was and mine is actually Jed Jeff because he's really the charade of this show. And I've been saying this. Here he is. She'd have been bo she ain't carrying bones all fucking episode. Right? Who's, the, who's the Nini of the show? I have no idea. I don't know. We don't have one. It's Sean. Sean. Yeah, Sean. You think it's Sean? <laughs> I'm pushing this show right now. I'm I'm thinking that is Robert at this point. Nah, no, she ain't, give him, ain't visible enough. She giving Kim. <laughs> Not <laughs> Kim. Kim. <laughs> She's been tardy for the party. She wants to keep for Troy outside. <laughs> she has been tardy for the party, okay? Somebody oh, right. so he's so he said she ain't carrying towards the end. Who said oh. that? Ooh, give so like who, a who, give who wasn't a who, who wasn't carrying towards the end? Put that's a name. Nah, we gonna wait. That's Sheree. Stay tuned. Right <laughs> <laughs> put, put a name that's on Sheree it. Now, now tell you said you wasn't gonna be doing no interviews. You can't be dropping little tidbits and we can't talk about it. Right. Get your ass up here. Ah, Jamar, don't be trying to turn the other head now that you ain't producing this season, bitch. <laughs> now you want to get to the mess. I can do that because you're right. Now I you want to get in the shit. I have to be now. real cute, but I have because no y'all do know that Tilly. <laughs> y'all do know that Tilly was the first guest that we ever had on the chase. Yeah. 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 Prophet, I'm gonna need you to keep my name out your mouth where it gets bumpy in the comments. What do you say? Who you talking to? What happened? He said, Telly is Kim and Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need, I'm I'm gonna need you. I'm going to need you. I'm going to need you to halt to a stop. Not Jeremy. That's definitely not. What is it? Okay. Uh-uh. Well, for my, for my experience, I will say that I've never been that big of a fan of Chasing Dallas. I usually go to sleep watching episodes. But I have been wide awake this one. So kudos to you bitches. <laughs> and what y'all yeah. say, we tune us you every Thursday. We're tuning in. I be I don't be that sleep. So you you might be right. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I don't be that sleep. I still be sleepy, but not that sleepy. So you know. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, with oh, that lady. being said, 
We had over 300 people in here tonight, which is very good. Hey, um, y'all. Before we, before we go, three hey, people viewers. up here, three people up here have to promote their products while we're here. Okay. Who wants to go first? Start with Vandal, bitch. You know you want to. I, right. I'll go first. Okay. So make sure y'all. Make, you know, make sure y'all go stream Nasty Remix. You know, it's out now. Make sure y'all purchase it, stream it, download it, whatever the case may be. Support your boy. It got Alana the Blonde. It got Hood Hoes. It got Tay G. Everybody did their big one. I, I heard I heard Hoes is mad. I heard it. they mad at the motherfucking track. You know what I'm saying? So, but you know. Hoes don't want no smoke. Hey, this record's will They don't want no motherfucking smoke. Bitch. The Z-list rappers and shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, yeah, my we, God. Yeah, we all. Ever grab yeah, a mic and yeah, we you know, eat it, bitch. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, don't we out there. Yeah. Cock okay. Gob Goblin up next. What's up, K-Star? Okay, go ahead, Carl. So, I got Cock Goblin. We munching dicks. We sucking dick all summer. <laughs> so, I want y'all hoes to go get y'all y'all dick munch on. Because I'm a first class hoe. Money in the stash show fast So I love it when you lick my ass hoe. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to taste gold, tell them, tell them. Eyes grow back. <laughs> tell them, nigga, where the tray is. See, I'm looking for a nigga with a GVS. That's a gutter butt slut. <laughs> <laughs> Searching through my phone with my GPS. I need a big dick, nigga. I can feel in my chest. You want to know good? Should I put you to rest? Hey, girl, good moochie on deck. Nigga, grade A. <laughs> And but yeah, go get all. You're up fucking, there, fucking, all, fucking all your baby daddies, bitch. Fucking all your baby daddies <laughs> all summer, bitch. All summers. Gobble, gobble, giving thanks to the dick, bitch. <laughs> go ahead, Travail. Man, go off, man. That's what you mean. Shout out to Carl for Cop Goblin and performing that for y'all the whole song. For the most part. <laughs> <laughs> um... I have a new single coming out. It's uh, it's on pre-order now. Please um, go check out your iTunes or your Amazon Music and pre-order this. We would love to try this. It's featuring Rico with a K. It's called Everything. It's a great love song with yes, a little bit is. of fiery ishnessnessness. We have a video coming for it soon. We actually shot a video for it. So um, please go get that. Okay, uh, Rico with a K. We is out here. Let's do it. My brother Reek. Yes, we have talented people on this platform. Absolutely. Well, the real Rico, please stand up. Vando. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. Oh, my God. So, with that being said, that's all I got to say about that. Oh, and one more thing the shit is only 99 cents. So, y'all can give your boy. Y'all got a dollar. Y'all got it's less than. <laughs> Y'all can still go buy nasty and cock goblin still. It's still yes, it's still go buy it. Y'all can get both. Yeah, y'all can do that. Yeah. Because some of us bitches are selling records, and some ain't. Okay, remember that. <laughs> well, who the hell was that? Ain't. What should I do? To be continued. <laughs> I gave you everything. Yeah, that's it. Lost without you. <laughs> I gave you everything. Mm. That's my money. Is that it? Uh -uh. Cause baby, money ain't nothing. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> um, T, Jeremy, Jamar, promote your platforms, please. So you can find me on Oni and all social media platforms at Jamar84. That's spelled J A M A R A four, <laughs> with the exception of TikTok, which is Jamar A four zero. I uh, just released some content on my YouTube channel. Make sure you go check it out. Thank you very much and support Black Business. You're such a professional bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy. Period, bitch. Um, follow me at Jeremy Speaks TV on YouTube. My channel is like back in full effect and it is rapidly growing now. And my videos is really hitting. Um, I review Real Housewives of Potomac. Real Housewives of Atlanta, like a lot of the Bravo shows, and I also cover a lot of pop topics. So my content is really fiery, so I suggest y'all go like catch that. NT. Yeah, I followed you, whore. <clears throat> ah. uh, you know, subscribe to me on the down to the main sanctuary, giving you real tea, and also follow the Annex building. Um, gags with tea, and um. I might, I might 
go back to reviewing Love and Marriage Huntsville. Since my bitch Destiny is up there and bitches is mad about it, I might just go back <laughs> up there just to gag that. Hey, oh, yeah. I was not thinking the same thing. I see what I'm saying? And I'm glad you said that because the people came in my chat and said that me and you need to sleep on it and think about it. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> first of all, first of all, profit. I have. I'm screaming, profit. You stupid as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's stupid. I wrote t shirt, t shirt. Bando, don't. Okay. <laughs> don't. Anyway. Oh. I'm currently reviewing Potomac. Um, I stopped reviewing Love and Hip Hop Atlanta because it's trash. Mm. Um, I'm, I, it's, it looks like I might get back on the train of doing Love and Marriage. I feel like T. <laughs> I show <sure> hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know though. I'm still haven't made up my mind. Where the blues I'll, come from? Who did that? Oh, Carl did that. Um, oh, that's a filter. Uh, my bad. Um, my Tally, bad. Said, pe- Tally said people dropping singles and songs, but ain't signed to a label yet. Ooh. Who? Who that for? Who, who that's for? for? <laughs> who that for? <laughs> who that's for? Who that's for? Before I respond. <laughs> who that's for? <laughs> Right, I want to hear it before you. Who that's for? Tell me who that's for. Bring Tally up, girl. Click the link. Now we can let's break it up. Look, he's gonna respond with that. No, he's talking about Tally. The Tally be trolling. He said none of y'all. Oh, okay. I mean, it could be me. I don't care. Hold on. Shut the fuck up. I was about to say about labels. You see, though, a lot of you bitches that own music don't realize that labels. Take all your fucking money. I'm up here, right? I'm up here, ready. Get that nothing. money in your own pocket. That comes straight to who you. See, that's all that matters. Let me tell you something about a bitch like me. I stay booked. I stay busy. You I make my name. Uh uh-uh, It don't matter. And I'm gonna tell you right now. I ain't never had a clear up, K Star. Anywhere, my clear music sells. Get um. I get booked. Everywhere, but get on. Um, like, Definitely, he's not talking shit. about you at this moment. I, I know exactly where he going with it. <laughs> Who? Where he going with it? We'll talk backstage. Um, with that, that being said, you guys, Period. that is it for the chasing crown of this week. We will be back next week. Okay. This after show about to be messy. I'm about to ask a lot of questions. I want to know something. Yeah, messy as fuck. <laughs> We'll see y'all next week. And, uh, that's about it. <laughs> but, then, like- but, but but he said, then again, I ain't arguing with children 10 years younger than Oh, he's talking about Jill. Oh, I know he's talking about old Telly. Oh, I didn't know. But how old is Telly? I heard somebody on the cast say that Telly is 44. <laughs> Telly ain't no damn 44. What? How old really is Telly? Telly? I'm not the one who said no, nah, he don't look no, he don't look no 40. Oh, no. he don't look 40. 34, period. He's he just a year younger than me. They must have got your age off by like 10 years. What did they say his age was 40? Oh, the children. Oh, well, um, well, we're done. Um, you just may see everybody up here, um, next week, so you know, Bando, you mean that's at the club or no? Hell no. I knew that. I knew he wasn't going no way. We you ran no white way. yourself on top of your ass all night. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. good. I'm good. You Catch me Saturday. Catch me. Catch me. Bye, y'all. We will see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs>